A module file is another tool to help us increase your speed and efficiency. It's a method of saving numerous objects and or elements into smaller chunks so you can actually recall them quicker and cut down the number of keystrokes you use. A module can be as small as a few objects, as large as a whole building. They can be standalone modules or hotlink modules. Hotlink merely means that they are linked to an original source so that if you change that original source all the files or instances that appear in the master plan will automatically update. But a standalone module is totally independent. Both types of modules need to be imported in a different manner. Modules are merged and hotlink modules are brought in by going to file, external content and place hotlink module. So first of all we're going to create a module. So first of all I'm going to be on the arrow tool I'm just going to select everything here in this kitchen and I'm going to copy it to the clipboard so I'm going to go control C or Apple C and here I'm going to say file save as module from clipboard I'm going to call this kitchen and I'm going to save it into my model folder however I'm going to drag it from my model folder into my library modules folder and I'm going to place it in there so now I'm going to close that I've put it in there so I can find it easily at a later date so now if I want to import that same module I go to file and now I actually merge it so if I merge the file I go to my library modules folder select the kitchen mod and we can see a little snapshot of it there and then we can go open just going to bring that in it's got some marching ants going around the module file but I'm just going to if I click in it I can keep moving around but if I click out of it it actually places the module and we don't want to place the module exactly on the last one on where I created it from so I'm just going to move that over to here and I can keep moving it around until I click outside of it and then the modules placed so now if I go to F3 we can see that I've got another instance of just those items that I selected and the beauty of this is I don't have to go and select each one of these cabinets set it up like I want to although we have favorites and we can use that but over here we can bring in the whole kitchen with all the settings that we require and with a minimum of effort this can be done with bathroom modules kitchen modules anything you like even whole units if you want and it's just a much quicker way of working if you're using something over and over again and it's more than just one element in which case you would just use the favorites menu so if I close that now now I'm going to do an example of a hotlink module so once again I'm going to select these items and I'm going to push file external content save selection as module this time I'm going to call this kitchen hotlink and I'm going to save it to that same folder as a module file push save now when I want to bring that file in I'm going to push file external content place hot linked module it's going to choose a master layer the module master layer is the whole module is placed on a master layer and the elements of the module keep their original element specific layer assignment and they're placed on corresponding layers in the current project if layers with these names exist if necessary new layers will be created but the master layer controls the visibility and the locking of modules as an entity the master layer is an ordinary layer of the host file and can include any other elements different instances of the same module can be assigned to different master layers even though individual objects in each module may share layers with the master files and even other module files when you hide the master layer in the master project it will hide all the objects associated with the master layer regardless of which layer they occupy in the project 
If individual layers need to be created to accommodate an incoming module, then those layers will be created. However, layer sets of the source file are not imported with modules. For best results, it's best to use the same layer structure in both the source and the host file, so not to increase the amount of layers that you have in your master file, other than the addition of master layers to help control the visibility of your modules. So element specific layers control the visibility of elements within that module. If an element specific layer is locked, the module is still editable even if any of its elements are in this locked layer. Locking a master layer has priority over the delete break commands in the Hotlink Manager dialog box. These commands only act on modules with an unlocked master layer. So if I choose the Hotlink, I can choose a Hotlinked module kitchen and we can see the kitchen module that was created from the clipboard we can't select that at all so if I click on the kitchen hot linked module and push OK now we can change the orientation of it as well but at the moment I'm just going to place it exactly the same way here we can link it to a story and we can see we can change the elevation of it but I'm just going to leave it where it is at the moment and I'm going to place that module This time I'm going to choose a different layer as the master layer. I'm going to choose Kitchen 2 and it's always a good idea to create a specific layer that you, that you can use as a master layer. Then I'm going to choose the hot link. I'm going to choose the same hot link again. Place the module. I'm going to paste it in the current view. Now I'm going to place a hot link module with a rotation and going to choose a hot link again same one push OK place module paste so I'm going to put that up there and this time the very last time I'm going to mirror it and place it on the same master layer okay now here we have all my hot link modules placed. If I go to the 3D window, we can see we can see all the modules placed there. And you'll notice if when we select, and you'll notice when we try and select something, we can select everything individually. However, if we go to edit grouping and uncheck suspended groups we can see the whole module being selected unless we go to the module that I saved from the clipboard which is individual elements so now if I close that and go to the layers if I turn the master layer off for that particular so only the modules that were on that master layer have disappeared even though every item in that module is mixed up with all these other layers. I'm just going to save this by pushing Control or Apple S. I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to open the linked module and I want to launch a new instance of ARCHICAD. This is also new for version 10 and I'll just wait for ARCHICAD to open again. Now with the module opened I'm going to delete a few things. I'm going to delete the overhead cabinet. and of course the bench. Now I'm just going to save that again and then hide this Archicad and come back to this one. Now if I go to File, External Content, Hotlink Manager, we can see that all the instances of the hot links are now outdated so now I can just push the update file push OK and we can see all the instances have changed except for the module that we saved from the clipboard and the original one of course now there's numerous ways of breaking a large file down into smaller chunks 
you might want to do this if you have a team of people that you want to assign to a larger project and it doesn't matter whether that project is a vertical building or a horizontal um, site that's spread right out you can break it down using hotlink modules in this particular example you've got to remember that there's no right or wrong way to do this as long as you've got a good plan over here in this example here we've got this very tall building and it's got one master file which is basically the shell or the external structure only and possibly the floors or slight variations of and then we've broken the building down into three areas the upper area the central area and the podium which might contain stores area 2 might contain living areas and area 3 might contain penthouse suites so we've got the three areas there and those three areas are broken down further into another hotlink module which would be the individual units that make up perhaps the penthouse suites, the individual units that make up the residential part and the individual stores that make up the podium part then we might break those down into bathroom details, interior details or elevations and kitchen details and this is a way of breaking down this larger project into smaller projects that individual teams can work on independently and then by saving all the changes to the hotlink modules it updates the master file.